Question number nine. Here are some digit cards. A two, a four, a six, and a six. It says write all the three digit numbers greater than 500 that can be made using these cards. One is being done for you, and that's 626. Well, actually, if the numbers we choose have got to be greater than 500, it's got to begin with a 6. It's got to be 600 and something. Because the only other things it could begin with would be 200 and something, which is not greater than 500, or 400 and something, which is also not greater than 500. So we're going to have to begin with a 6. And that's worth writing down here. So must start with a 6. Next thing we can do is to say, well, if we need to have three digit numbers, that will be anything with hundreds, tens, and units. And we already know that the hundred digit must be a six. So what can the tens digit be? Well, the tens digit could be a two, and we've already got 626. And if we've got 620, we could also have the units digit being a four. So we could have 624. So that could be our next number. Is there anything else that would be in the 620s? Well, the only other card we've got left is the other 6, but this would also give us 626. So we're now going to need to change the 10s digit. So now let's try 640-something. Well, we could have 642, or we could have 646 using the other 6. So 642 or 646. Is there anything else we could have in the units digit in the 640s? No. So what else could we have in the tens column? Well, we can now have six and use the other six to make 660 something. So we can have 662, or we can have 664. So 662 or 664. Now, is there anything else we could have in the units column in the 660s? The answer is no. We can't have 666 because there are only two sixes. Now, is there anything else we could have in the tens column? So we've, we've tried using 620s, we've done 640s, and we've done 660s. There is nothing else we can do. So actually, they are all the answers. There should be six answers that you should be writing on these two lines.